Balancing a sailboat is essentially letting it go, in balance. My dear friend and longtime sailing partner Felicity was pretty adamant that I needed to li needed a little more explanation from my last post having to do with the rudder and mainsail. So here we go, the cliff notes of steering by controlling the roll side to side, which we also is called heel, and the pressure on the sail. We use this model to demonstrate. When you pull in the sail, or what we call trim, the sail is being pulled in by what we call the mainsail, which is the one behind the mast. The boat is caused to turn towards the wind, which in this case, the wind is coming from the screen, so the boat would turn towards the screen by pulling in the mainsail. You balance the amount that you trim by putting pressure on the rail of the boat, or pressuring the rail, causing the boat to head down. Heading the, the boat down by weight and pulling in the sail is two opposite or equal actions, in this case, making the boat go straight. Conversely, the opposite actions by letting out cause easing the sail versus bringing in or trimming the sail causes the boat to head away from the wind. So letting out causes the boat to head away, allowing the boat to roll to leeward away from the wind causes the boat to turn toward the wind. So heeling to leeward or away from the wind causes the boat to turn towards the screen. And there you have it. In many conditions and boats, you actually can control or turn the, the sail and the boat without the rudder. In the next lesson, we'll talk about how the rudder is and can be the indicator or guide for the crew to decide what actions to take to steer and let the boat go at its peak potential.